I'm switching over to the the uh, as soon as it finds it the battle preview screen this first battle we have a total of four <laughs> four battles um, which isn't a lot but uh, let's see if I can pull this up real quick uh, this first battle this is uh, a submission by Robert uh, some of the background info on this, it's the week one of EVO, which obviously it's been a while. He submitted this August 11th. Um, so, you know, it's, it's been a while ago. Um, but still, let's, let's get to it. I really don't know who he's fighting here. Um, I don't know a lot of the EVO participants too, uh, too personally. But... I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. There's a couple of strong looking teams here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click play and see how it turns out. Uh, let me. Yeah, okay. Surf Sweeper. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find out who that is, but the one who submitted it, Robert, he is a newcomer to the group. I actually haven't had the chance to see him battle. So I'm looking forward to see what he does. Sends in the Colgate Zygarde. I guess he might see this as an opportunity to uh, force force a switch with the uh, the thousand arrows. But the Amunus does come in. Oh, a substitute set. So, this really limits what the Amoose can do here. Yeah, you see the switch. Uh, this is an easy Dragon Dance. Okay, he, he just goes offensive here. It does about a quarter to the Slowbro. Make sure Slowbro is going to easily retaliate with, uh, with an Ice Beam. But he is going to be under half. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. That was a high roll. It's not going to take another one. But Slowbro does get re Regenerator. It does break the sub. Uh, so we're going to see Slowbro switch out here. Well, this is still going to hit, and it's going to be super effective from what I can tell. Okay, no. It did it did knock it down, but it, since it is a poison flying type, it didn't actually land super effectively. Obviously, don't know my Thousand Arrows mechanics as well as I should. <laughs> but the Amoongus, he, he does have a strong regenerator team here. Uh, let's see what it does to the Amoongus. Not much. So, we're probably going to see another substitute. There we are. He's running out of substitutes. He doesn't Unless he's carrying a rest set, he's not going to be able to do that too much. <clears throat> I'm really surprised not to have seen the Dragon Dance. Yep, there we go. Almost spoke too soon. Okay, probably... Oh, the Giga Drain, that's, that's not going to do it. It's definitely not going to do it. Oh, it faded. Wow, that's surprising. But this is going to hurt. This is going to put it under 50%. Saying that, oh, he barely had enough. I hope he did his math on that one. Um, I think this is going to top off with the, left, or with the uh, Black Sledge here. Not even half. Man, that bulky Amoongus. And that should take off the sub. Yeah, there we go. So, the Zygarde can no longer substitute to protect itself. So, if it does get outsped... <clears throat> outrage. Oh, this shouldn't KO. Even at plus one. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. Finally, the Zygarde, the Colgate Zygarde goes down.
and we're more than likely going to see the Amoongus switch back out. Um, yeah, you're going to get his Black Sledge HP. Uh, more than likely go into his Slubber. Well, maybe not after seeing that knockoff. Um, Crobat wouldn't be the worst idea. Guts Machamp. Okay. A rock type move would not be a bad idea. Expecting to switch. Oh, the Forger's okay. It would take it anyway. Um, it goes ahead and sets the knock or goes for the knockoff, doing almost half with that guts, that guts boost. Let's see what this is gonna do. Oh, it got it. It actually got the KO. That's surprising. I mean, I'm not doubting the power of a champ by any means, but Fortress is bulky, man, especially defensively. So we are going to see the fast Crobat here. Uh, Machamp has to switch out. Oh, and to the, uh, the Crestle, okay. So Crobat getting some free HP. Much appreciated. Okay, you're gonna U-turn out into the slow bro more than likely. No. That's right, because Crustle is rock bug. So Slowbro wouldn't really appreciate uh, a bug type move, which I'm not really sure about Crustle's moveset. It's a it's a mon I haven't used personally. Uh, the Aldino, I know, is a Wish Passer. Actually, it might not get Baton Pass. Okay. It does set the Wish. Um... Wow, setting rocks late. I always like to see that. Setting rocks early in a game is so predictable. Whenever you are able to set rocks like about a quarter or halfway into the match, it can create some complications for sure. But he's going for another knockoff, which is questionable because it obviously doesn't have an item. Uh, Rock Blast would have been the move there. Okay, with the normal Audino being the pure normal type, Machamp is a good switch. So he's always obviously going to expect a, a fighting type move, so he goes back into the Crobat. With the Rock's damage though. Oh, and predicting the switch with the Ice Punch and getting the KO. That's nice. That's a good prediction. Flygon. I'm actually not sure about the speed tiers here. I do believe Flygon outspeeds. Uh, an outrage would not be appreciated. The Crustle does come back in. Okay, and he's just going to use Flygon as a pivot mon here. That's, that's smart. Back into the Aldino. Full health. Is that a regen- okay. So it's a Regenerator Audino. If I remember correctly. I'm not doing enough there with the Crustle, so I'm, I'm curious about where exactly this is going. It's in kind of a stall here. Um, he does, he does toxic the crustle, so we're not going to see it out here for much longer. The X scissor just isn't doing enough, and it's getting it right back with the wish.
not not quite at half on the Aldino. I'm surprised we saw it Ice Beam instead of just setting another wish. Because that Machamp could easily switch right back into it. I'm surprised it hasn't. So, rocks, huh? Not sure what that was about. Okay, he is taking a chance to send in the Moongus. Um, the Crestle is just gonna take the Toxic Death this time around. Oh, okay. The Moongus caught the Wish. Yeah, uh, my apologies. I. I forgot about the uh, the wish that he set. So that is that is a pretty good move on his part. Um, it keeps him from having to make a hard switch whenever he sends in the Machamp. So the Amoongus is already out there, but he has revealed the Ice Punch, so Amoongus can't stay. Okay, he's going to get his Black Sludge. He has to be expecting a switch here. So Machamp might actually go for... Uh, some stab damage Knowing that he can't get spored. That is actually really good tech for the Amoongus Okay, the slow bro. So if it is a fighting type attack, it's not gonna do a whole lot knock off Would hurt knock off a KO Okay, he ice punches instead. He Wanted to just hit what's in front of him. That's something I'm guilty of too um, Let's see he is catching the regenerator with slow bro and he's sending out Dino back in. Into a Machamp. At that. Knockup's gonna do minimal damage, which crit. Oof. Okay. That hurt. Um. He's bringing it right back out. He's kinda got himself in a, in a corner here. Um. He's dry. Oh man. Flygon just catches it. He hard switched right into the Flygon, which. Probably not the best move on his part, knowing that Aldino wasn't really going to serve much of a purpose at this point in the battle. Um, Moongus is going to catch an Ice Punch here, and it's not going to appreciate it. I do think it will lit- no, he actually switches right back out. He hard switches into the Aldino. Which, I can almost guarantee this is a KO. Oh, it lived. But it's not going to matter. Yeah, he's slowly backing himself into a corner. Um, Machamp could safely knock off here. He goes for the Ice Punch instead. I guess he's switching trying to burn down his HP. But man, it's a little bit late in the battle to be doing that. So the Machamp is in a good position here to uh, to clean up, it looks like. Although, I'm not sure Ice Punch can quite KO the Amoongus. Maybe after Rocks it'll be close. We'll find out though. No, easily living with about 15-20%. So the Machamp does go down, but it's so late, there's really <laughs> not a whole lot more you can do at that point. But we'll wait it out. We'll we'll see. Shady Lady. This is the oh Houndoom, which I can only assume is a Mega, which is not going to leave Amoongus in a good position by any means. Okay, it's not. I may have looked at the dreams incorrectly. Uh, but it, Amoongus is clearly going to catch a move that it does not want to catch. So it, yeah, with the Aldino coming out here, it looks like Houndoom is going to clean up. Uh, Robert did a good job of keeping, of keeping, <laughs> was the surfer dude, he was a surf sweeper. Uh, he did a good job of keeping him into a, a corner. I mean, Thunderous didn't even, Thunderous and Slowking didn't even make the, the field. So he did a very good job of doing exactly what he needed to do 
Um, it's kind of surprising too because with between the the slow bro and the crowbat, he had he had coverage for the Machamp, but it was just really well played on uh, Robert's part. So, congrats. I'm sorry we haven't been able to follow Evo as close as as closely as we should. Um, I know there's been some good battles, but you know that's just how it happens. I mean, we get busy. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the next one. Um, there have been a couple more entries since I've started, but I am capping it off at four. Uh, that's what we had whenever we started. I'm gonna do the the newest ones uh, next week. The second one we have up is man, I'm gonna I'm gonna say your name incorrectly more than likely, but Bradine Br Bradian Bradine B R A D E A N Bradine, right? Either way, uh, the background information on this battle is that it's the uh, the Beard's Quad Strike Tourney. Man, this is submitted August 11th. Um, he kind of goes into detail about what happens, but spoilers. I'm not going to go into that. Almost had it typed in. Just one second. F6 in i mean, I'm not gonna lie i'm happy to be able to do this again uh hopefully next week i'm going to be able to have a co-host so i don't uh look like an idiot the whole time because i mean i'm i'm not the i mean i'm not the best i'm not the most knowledgeable battler out there i mean i've been playing for a long time now and I play a lot, but I just, I don't break it down as well as a lot of the other guys in the group who I like to see do Battle of the Week. So, if you would like to co-host, if you would like to uh, to help us out and, uh, you know, see what you can do, I will, I'll gladly let you in. Um, it was really late notice tonight. I was hoping to get an admin in. Um... I'm actually getting a, a Discord message from uh, from Arthur right now, um, saying that he wants to hop in, which I I can't turn that down. So I'm gonna give him a call real quick. What's up, dude? Um, let me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was actually just uh, commenting about how I'm awful at this. So, I definitely uh, definitely appreciate the help. I'm going to turn down Spotify a little bit. I don't know how much it's it would... Gotcha. Okay. Um... Okay, let me... Uh, I turned down Spotify a little bit. Let me get over here to you. Uh, I'm going to turn on screen share. Where is this? All right, sweet. Oh, I, I can turn, I can. This is this is the quad tourney. Yeah, this is the four times tourney. Mm-hmm. 
for sure. Okay, let me, uh, before we get too deep into the battle, let me hit up uh, the stream real quick to make sure that your voice is getting through. OBS doesn't seem to be uh, picking it up for whatever god awful reason. Actually, I think I may know. Um, it is set. Try saying something real quick. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. That should do it. Um, I see Beard is in here. Beard. Sound check. <laughs> I'm using my uh, mic settings that I use to uh, stream my battles with. Um, so uh, it's not quite optimized for oh, yeah. other voices. I have it set up to where music is like slightly lower than uh, th than my voice. Um, Anthony says nope. I'm not sure if he's saying no to sound checking. Or nope, I can't hear anything. Or nope, he's just not going to tell me. <laughs> yeah, that could be it too. <laughs> Um, but OBS is picking you up now, so there's got to be something going on here. Kind of just, just waiting it out. Can you hear Arthur? I am uh, recording this to uh, throw up on YouTube afterwards, too. Yeah, I thought I would kind of... hear Beard. Oh, okay, you can't hear Beard. He was just asking for a sound check from Beard, who is in the chat. So if you can hear myself, <laughs> and Steven, um, that's, that, that is the only two people that are on the call. I and guess also, I... So Orange Jesus, Orange Jesus is on my side. Yes, and definitely. Opportunity to apologize uh, to Squid <laughs> um, for absolutely robbing him. Um, and I probably should get arrested for that. But yeah, it is what it is. It's Pokemon, I guess. Yeah, I forgot to mention that we had a uh, a, a third a third co-host now. Yeah, Orange Jesus. Oh man, dude, seriously though, that freeze! I I can't believe it. I I don't want to watch the battle video. I want to watch Squid's upload. I want to yep. see him get. I want to see him get salty. And I went straight to the part of the video where I knew that happened. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we already uploaded it. Yeah, and my heart broke a little bit. Nice. Because that feeling was what I felt like when it happened to me versus Jesse two weeks ago. <laughs> oh man, poor Squid. I saw he a, a lot of life left him tonight. Just a lot of that raw passion that the Blazing Squid typically has, just kind of, kind of. I mean. Let's let's just give him this battle and get on with that. All right. If if they can't hear you, if they can't hear you, they can't hear you. It's whatever. We're not getting any feedback. So even though there's t like two or three people watching, whatever. You're good. My mom's the only one who I know who watches my videos. <laughs> All right. So the Shenotic Ghost lead. And this is against uh, Matt, I guess. So. Yeah, That's it's Matt versus uh, Bradian. So this cool. is this is interesting. This is manual rain, rain dance, Whimsicott, I guess. Man, this tournament was so crazy. It was it, even though I lost in the first round, it was really fun to play in. Yeah. So we got the tailwind from Whimsy, ice punch. Got to go into that Shinotic. Yep. You would think. Did a good 70 80 percent there. Oh, with the strength sap though. Yeah. Oh yes. You got, Giga, you got a Giga there. Um, let's see. Trick room, yep. And there's trick room. He ha absolutely had to get trick room. Okay. So this isn't the worst spot for Bradian, like because you got six Pokemon up four, but mm -hmm. taunt. He has to bring this the the the, the Swampert out here. Oh, he doesn't have Leech Seed on Shinotic. Shadow Ball into the Swampert. That's a three hit KO. Waterfall. This should still two hit shot. Oh my god. Not crazy. quite. That is a bulky Hoopa. That's that's like that's gotta be relaxed min speed Hoopa to take that. 
right, and some spare thorn. Matt does run a bulky hoopa. Hoopa. I found that out in season six. Yeah, so guaranteed no Giga there. He would have gone for it. Um, Psychic, the Fair Thorn's not going to do anything. Uh, Nothing at all. Fair Thorn is going to be faster than the Shinotic in Trick Room, and then, or slower than Shinotic, but faster than. Faster, Trick Room. technically. So it's it's got to target down Hoopa because I think once he gets rid of Trick Room, it's over. All right, he swaps. Okay. Oh, camel. Okay. That's good for him. Mm -hmm. Damn, that did a lot. I'm really surprised at the damage. I mean, I know Whimsicott isn't exactly the bulkiest thing, but mm -hmm. I'm surprised at the damage output there. Yeah, I think Shinonic's like uh, 90. Okay. Base special attack, I want to say. It's respectable. It's it's not it's not triple digits, but it's respectable. If you're bratty in here, you gotta get the fuck out, or you got to set rain dance right here. All right, Garchomp, let's get play. Trick Room expires this turn, and you're not gonna moon blast the Ferrothorn. Ooh, Heatran! Oh, here we go for the Heat Wave. Oh man! If he Heat Waves a Camel, like the like Bradian gets all the momentum right yep, there. Yep, it's GG. He does. Oh, that sucks. I mean, we're not going to be seeing an earthquake from Garchomp, but dude, look at that damage though. So he um Camel's sheer force, so he can't burn on the heat wave, but like that's resisted from Garchomp. <laughs> that that did like a three hit KO damage. All right, so I think you just heat wave and ground DMZ. I would heat wave and then ground DMZ out of the. Uh, oh, if we did it into the Articuno slot, that's really good. Poison jab, okay. Earth power. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't have heat wave on the Heatran. It's a good battle so far. Like, nobody's lost the game, nobody's won the game at this point. Ferrothorn comes back in. Oh, Magma Storm. Dude, this is gonna... <laughs> it actually <laughs> gonna it actually hit, though. That's gonna kill three Articunos. Ooh. Earth power, Me yeah. Melted, yes. Yeah, even if, dude, even if he was shook a berry, he was dying to that, the sheer force earth power stab. Alright, so in comes Swampy. This is, this is interesting. Um, that's That can't be Mega Aggron, right? So Waterfall, I don't think Waterfall kills it. But a double up in that slot will. Okay, Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake's definitely bringing it down to Sturdy. Mm. Did he double target it? Surely. Oh, what's this? Yeah, that's easy KO here. Yeah, that's going to knock out the Aggron, though, with Iron Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. Damn. Okay, thank you, Anthony, for the sound check. Um, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, I was I was actually in uh in chat with An Anthony right there trying to get <laughs> trying oh, to nice. get a sound check. I did have you down pretty low. Uh, so at the beginning of the battle, I'm not sure how audible it is, but whatever. Ooh, taunt GQ again. Yep. Yep. I don't think that kills the camera up though. So if it goes for heat wave, um, dude, that melt. Oh, one HP, literally one HP. Yeah, invisible focus sash. Oh, so good play by the Shinotic going for the moon blast. That puts it in a range of a uh, heat wave. Oh, no, oh, didn't do it. Lived. It didn't do it, man. He lived. That was a roll for sure. Either that or he's bulky swamper. I'm trying to look at its HP because we can see it from this side. Yeah, All right, here across comes 12. in. 
one seventy five. So that's that's four. That's four in HP. So that's a non bulky swamp. Bird. Wow, he's setting up in the camera up space. Um, I think he's going for. I think he expected to protect. Oh my god, if he heat waves here. Wow. Surely, surely you heat wave here, right? That was ballsy. I I at Oof. least expected the waterfall in the camera up to, but yeah, waterfall from camera up, and then any attack into the Shinotic you Moxie boost. All right, in comes Garchomp. It's still not over. Um, yeah, Gar Garchomp can. Uh, yeah, maybe he saw his wing con here. I don't know. Yeah, Garchomp can EQ and kill both of these. All right, so good protect there. Uh, this has to kill Tyranitar, or it's game over. Nope. Nope. Not even. Game over. It lived. Oh my god. Did that just put it in range? Oh, oh dude, okay. it did. It did. And this is oh, he must not have had Dragon Dance, because if you have Dragon Dance, you have to Dragon Dance there. Oh my god, that sucks. Wow. Damn, no Dragon Dance, that really sucks. And it naturally outspeeds the, the, yep. the no speed Hoopa, so... Yeah. Even Max Bulk's not living this. Oh my wow. god. Damn. Damn, he brought it back. <laughs> What a game. That was good. That was good. And I always enjoy seeing Matt lose. So that's... that's yeah. Cherry, yeah, really, the, the only right out there. that Matt had at the very end was he had a Dragon Dance with the Tyranitar um, because no Earthquake was killing unless it was Groundium. And then Crunch, Crunch after the Dragon Dance, guaranteed pick up the kill. Okay, I'm pulling up... Oh, well, look who it is. Battle number uh -oh. three. The lazy ghost himself. Who's a verse? I can't see the bottom screen yet. I'm topping it in as we speak. R H two six G. Oh, oh, okay. So um, <laughs> this was a fucking awesome battle. So I'll just talk about my mindset because I no longer uh, upload because I'm lazy. But um, so so going into team preview, I knew that he had no grass type, right? So Quagsire was a pretty safe switch um, into Charizard every time. So I needed to preserve Quagsire longer than Charizard to have any shot because if Charizard instead of a Dragon Dance, it just ran through my team. Uh, so that was like first thing I had to do. But second was I knew once I got rid of uh, Scissor, uh, Curum pretty much ran through the team. Uh, so it was pretty much just chip down Scissor, chip down Rotom, and then start Ice Beam and shit. Um, but uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty much the uh, the game plan here. All right, I'm gonna go and get started then. Yeah, so he goes Nido King lead. This thing's been a nightmare all season. Man, I love you. Go with Jr. Five Henny. I'll Shout out to I'll uh, Thunder Blunder. Want Nato King so bad next season. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, um, so I just go for um, I just I just mega right here. Uh, he can't kill me with anything. He hasn't ran specs all season, so I'm not really worried about that. I just go for Hurricane to deal damage. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? And he shows he's AB. Yeah, it's a sludge wave. I'm a I'm a super bulky pigeon. Like I have like I have like no <laughs> investment in attack. I've um, I don't think I've ever heard that in the same sentence. Yeah, super so, bulky pigeon. Yeah, so I go for the roost. Um, figuring he might go for a thunderbolt here. He does. So I'll take neutral because I roosted. 
Nice, zero. nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so now I can go into like my uh, Quagsire. I go into Curum, expecting him just to go for another Thunderbolt though. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've got Roost, so I can take hits. I'm pretty bulky Curum as well. And uh, luckily this will not poison because he's sheer force. So, yeah. So going pretty good. Uh, he gives me the Needle King. Damn, it um, did nothing though. Yeah, it does, I'm, I have like, I, I ran everything so bulky this week. Um, I, I can see that. Yeah. So one more Earth Power will do it. Um, I just go for the Roost because I wanted to... Like, nothing he has can two-shot me, so I figure I could just, like, stall some PP. Dude, he's trying so hard, too. Yeah. He wants it. He wants it. But I can just roost. I win this 1v1 um, and force him out. Yeah, he figures that out pretty quickly. Yeah, so he goes in a scissor. Um, I actually am carrying HP Fire on the uh, Curum, but I, I was... I wasn't in a position where I had to make any aggressive Please. reads early. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Freeze. Are okay. you kidding this, me? This won't matter. Just, just trust me. He, free, he thaws <laughs> out uh, the next turn. Um, so I switch out, uh, go into my Del Fox, expecting the uh, steel move. Luckily, he thaws out, uh, so I don't feel like a huge dick. Okay. No, you're still a huge dick. you just still, yeah, an unlucky yeah. one. Yep. Um, so he has to switch here. I can go for pretty much whatever I want to do. Um, I just go for the will o -Wisp because yeah. even if he brings in Charizard, I have, um, I have a really good answer. That's fair. Uh, he makes the double. Oh, yeah, he hard switches. Goes right into down. Rotom. Yep. Um, so really good double there. Uh, I'm expecting HP Grass 100%. Yeah, for uh, sure. So I just, I just go for Protect the Scout. And, um, he reveals he's toxic. Gotcha. Uh, so he still may have HP Grass, um, because he could just bluff that he doesn't have it. I go into Skarm, um, because he, there's, there's no way he Thunderbolts me, like, 0% chance. Uh, and Hydro Pump I can tank, because I, I'm fat Skarmory. Um. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> fat, super fat Skarmory, max HP, max Spidef. Uh, he goes for the Volt, I can tank, I can tank that pretty easy. Uh, considering it's a super effective hit, just go for a roost, scout what he wants to do. Man, I wonder if Thunderbolt would have done the trick there. No, um, I was... Oh, I go for Stealth Rocks. Yeah, that's a good play. Good play on both, because he gets his Charizard in for free, and then I get the rocks up. For sure. Um, but I can just go back into Quagsire. Like, there's nothing that he can run outside of uh, Modest HP Grass to really threaten my Quagsire. Maybe I just let Skarmory go down. I didn't switch. Uh, I think I expected Dragon Dance here. Yeah, I expected the Dragon Dance, so I stay in. I don't oh really my need my Skarmory for anything else, and I just go for Roar. So, yeah, I, made, I finally made a good play there. <laughs> um, I don't know how often staying in with a Skarmory against a Charizard is a good play, but it, it worked out for um, me. He, he, he couldn't go for a Fire Move, so if he goes for Fire Move, I bring in Quag, he has to switch, and then he takes Rocks. So he had a Dragon Move there. Um, or go for Dragon Dance. So either way, like, um, unless he made the wrong play, I came out on top there. Um, he goes for, gets his own rocks. Uh, so we mm -hmm. both have rocks on the field now. Man, Shiny um, Dusk form is lit, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He goes into Hariyama here. Um, I can actually take this thing on really well, too. Like, um, I can just Toxic stall it and win, uh, win the 1v1. Actually, Quagsire 1v1 is pretty much all of his team. That he brought. Um, so get the toxic here. Uh, goes for a knockoff. Uh, in hindsight, I should have protected there, um, but I just go for the recover to scout what he's going to go for. So he he's not guts, right? That's not guts damage, right? He's not guts. He's sheer force. Um, yeah. So protect again. I can I can win this one v one unless he crits me. Because for close combat, all I have to do is just click recover and protect, recover, protect. Uh, but he close combats here and <laughs> he gets. Oh my crit. god! <laughs> yeah. Um. So that sucks, but I mean, it kind of. Uh, I mean, it's crits happen. Um. 
Yeah, career high. So I get I get back to full as long as I'm at above 100. Um, like a crit max roll dragon claw from Charizard does 108. So I just I know I have to keep it at above 110. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm just gonna protect one more turn, get the toxic off, and then just sack something. Ah, uh, it doesn't monster. quite get it, but yeah. Yeah. So no, I go uh, Skarm oh, and okay. sack this. Yeah, yeah. This is not doing anything at this point of the game. Like, it's already got rocks up. That's all I needed it to do. And I had Defog, but I didn't want to Defog rocks off on his side. So. Does, does he have no hazard removal? I mean, he has Rotom, but it hasn't. Uh, he has Defog on Rotom. So, okay. like, if he gets rid of rocks, he has to get rid of them on um, my side, too. So it's fair trade. Like, rocks on the field for both of us hurts him more than it does me. Uh, and the Lycan Rock. I go into Coco. Um, if he crits a, uh, what's the uh, ground move? Um, crits a drill run, I die. But I lived everything else with this Coco. He goes for Excel Rock. Um, I'm pretty bulky, so I tank that and then I go for the Iron Head. The physical Coco. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Iron Head actually does a lot to his team. Um, the only things that switch in are like Rotom and Charizard, which uh, like Charizard can't switch into Gigabolt Havoc uh, before Megas. So, so U turn, get some chip. Uh, I can go into my Quag. But, uh, you know. but I don't. <laughs> I think I just sack. Um, that makes the most sense here. Oh, just yeah. put him down with the Flare Blitz. Yeah, Delphox didn't do anything because he did not. Um, he did not bring. What I, I brought Delphox for uh, Snorlax to be able to trick it. Gotcha. Um, so I can sack that pretty comfortably. Get into Quag. As long as I get the free switch into Quag, he can't kill me. That that's what it was. Um, so he goes for a Declaw here. I can live that one hundred percent. Go for the recover and just uh, stall it. So now he has to switch out. Mm -hmm. um, or reveal outrage, which he does not have. I mean, he he could have set Dragon Dance, but you still will probably recover him just as much. Oh, I'm, as I'm as unaware. So Dragon Dance doesn't matter. True, 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 true. Yep. So I get back to full on Scissor. Um, I can scout for damage here, but I'm like, I know he loves Banded Scissor. So, and I haven't seen leftovers. So the way he's playing it um, was either Scarf or Band, and Scarf didn't make sense versus my team because it couldn't kill Coco. So I'm pretty sure he's banded at this point. Uh, going to Coco. Um, so that's why I make the, the Coco play. Because if he's... I'll, I'll find out right here if he's Scarf or Banded, basically, and I don't need Coco anymore. So because he kills me, he's Banded. I now know it's item. Mm -hmm. um, I now know that if I want to 1v1 it with Kyurem, I have to get in and get a Roost off. Because I'm I'm actually Babbery Berry on Kyurem. Babbery, that's the... Uh... Steel Berry. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can bring in Kyurem, just go for a Roost. Uh, actually, I have to go for the Roost because I can't switch in on rocks anymore. You picked a bad week to go slow night Nido King. Yeah, this is the worst week for him to go A V because uh uh Life Orb, I had a good I had a switch in for Life Orb, but like not I couldn't switch into Life Orb the whole game. Like we we would have been trading stuff if he brought Life Orb. But I also would have one shotted him with Earth Power if he was Life Orb too, so uh, Sludge Wave, uh, I'm going to, again, win this 1v1. I just have to keep clicking Roost until he brings in a uh, Scissor or Rotom. Gotcha. There's the Charizard. Um, so I'll get back to full. And uh, now, or pretty close to full. And then I can just bring in uh, Happy and wall this thing out again. Damn. Dude, Quagsire is the man. I I love Quagsire. Uh, it goes for Dragon Claw. This does not even forty percent. Um, Outrage. Like, if anybody's watching this, like, and they're like, "Why didn't you bring Outrage?" Um, Outrage means he has to lock in versus my Coco. 
or something like my scissor, uh, which can set up like I can, you know, get I can I can kill it actually with uh, Skarmory or just like hit it really hard with uh, mm, yeah. Coco. So it makes sense. Like Dragon Claw was the play. I just I just had the Quagsire for it. So now Rotom has to um, reveal some shit here. <laughs> yeah. So here he has to go for Pump. Um, he can't afford to Willow me. So pretty easy switching to cure him. And he just goes for Defog, which is, like, actually, Defog uh, is what puts me in a position where I can win this game now. Because uh, I don't have to worry about roosting turn one with Kira when I come in. Uh, and I can actually win the 1v1 with um, Scissor, like, guaranteed now. So I go for Earth Power. Uh, he lives, shows he's Spideff, uh Rotom. Goes for Toxic. Uh, here... Uh, here's here's the one play that I could have done different. Um, so I can HP fire on this expecting to switch, but I really have no reason to because if I go for another Earth Power, I knock out the Rotom, mm -hmm. and I put the uh, Scissor in range of Hidden Power Fire if it's got the Aka Berry, like if I just did calcs wrong. So I could have HP fire. I thought about HP firing, <laughs> um, but in hindsight, it was just, it was just too risky because if I HP fire the Rotom and he goes for something like that I'm not expecting and crits me, um, that would have been really bad. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I eat, and then I eat the bullet punch. Oh, look at that bulk. Fuck, man. And then I KO back with HP fire. Nasty. And since, um, since rocks are off the field, um, pretty much I can just stall this game out with Quag. Um, I've got a lot of, I've got a, I've got some bulk and spidef. I uh, go Pidget, and he go. He has to go Rotom here. I'm in hell. Okay, yeah. for roost. Just, just go for Roost. I want to um, see how much this does. Uh, pump, pump does a good amount. Uh, he makes the right. Well, actually, he should have pumped there, but um, because he guaranteed oh, didn't my miss. God, the damage. He goes uh, Charizard, I, or no, well, other Charizard. And then Hurricane's going to be able to. Uh, yeah, that's easy KO. Get this, yeah. I think he probably should have pumped there, because um, he would have been able to pump a second time and KO, and I couldn't KO from this range with Hurricane. So this time he's going to do the right play and pump. Yeah. No, he talks six. I mean, it's too late. I'm just think I'm just thinking about it. Like um, crit pump uh, means I have to roost again, and he could pump again and kill me. Um, but I understand toxic, um, like just trying to whittle me down. Uh, here, I just got to click hurricane <laughs> and get into Quagsire. With the confuse axe, hurricane doing what it does. Yep. <laughs> uh, he goes for bolt switch. Yeah. Is that a crit? No? Uh no. I just didn't roost that time. So did uh did all Got you, got you, got you. Um he'll bring in the Zard. And I can click Hurricane one more time. Yeah, easy KO. I love Pidget. The thing's so good. Um Yeah, and that I'm pretty sure I survived the no I don't. Okay. Yeah, you didn't use it much against me, but the threat of it did a lot. I mean, it's yeah high pressure. There's not a lot of like not a lot of people carry bulky electric types, um, so it's really hard to switch into. Uh, he pumps here on the quag. Um, it does a little. Uh, it does close to half. Uh, and then the roll. I think I put this in the notes, but the the roll to kill from here. Was um, he had a twenty seven percent chance? It's in the notes uh, if you can see uh, him. I can't remember. Based on the Quagsire and Rotom W spreads, Hydropump had a thirty seven percent chance to kill. Yep. Hydropump is only eighty percent accurate. You multiply those together, eighty percent times thirty seven percent, and Brennan had a twenty nine percent chance to kill. Yep, with that's twenty nine percent of the game. Yep. So he has a twenty nine percent chance to kill me and win the game here. For those watching at home. 
but Hydro Pump's 80%. And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just recover and win the game right there. Gotcha. But yeah, overall, that was that was one of the best games I've had uh, this season. So shout out to Brennan for sure. That was a, a damn good game. For sure. Brennan always fucking brings that thing into the season. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to switch into. Um, if you had HP Grass, like I was not going to be able to. But yeah, overall, that was a really awesome game. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and enter in our fourth battle uh, submitted by Anthony. Let me get this typed in real quick. YG8K. All right, this is our last battle of the night. Um, and I fucking either I did it or he wrote it incorrectly. Let's see who made the mistake. This is fun though. I definitely want to do this again if you uh, need a someone to cast these. Hell yeah, man. Um. I I knew all day that I wanted to do it tonight. I want to get it back on track. Um, not necessarily every Thursday, but you know, towards the end of the week, every week, and whenever I have mm -hmm. time, I just it's easier just to kind of do it myself, <laughs> yeah. like just to get it done. Um, but for sure, I'll uh, I'll hit you up. I'll I'll give a a better notice next time around. Uh, because expect with the PU season about to start, I definitely want to continue giving LDL its own Battle of the Week rewards mm -hmm. and make sure that these PU battles don't go unnoticed because it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, well, Anthony, I would love to play this battle video, but it seems that you might have made an error while entering it. If you're in the yeah, comments so right if you're you in the comments, yeah, send us the code. Anthony, please, yes. You still have the code. I do want you to, I mean, don't, just enter in the comments. Whatever works, man. Um, I can't see how long I've been going, but, it, oh, okay, 50, about 54 minutes. Uh, about 55 minutes because I streamed for a minute uh, before I got the live stream going. But it's whatever. <laughs> um, I'll just wait on you, man. Uh, in the meantime, where are we at on the PU draft? Um, I believe we're at Mark. Um, and Mark's asleep. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about that. Okay, I'm having a mind fart right now. Who's known as Blaze? Uh, Blaze is uh, Ryan Ginnon, I believe. Okay. Uh, he's PMing me his picks, it looks like. Um, but it's in case Mark uh, comes back and it's it's not going to happen. Mark is out like a light. I know that guy. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. <laughs> so I'm looking at the three different places that DQ might send the battle code. I'm not sure where to expect it. Because he's telling me he will resend it in the LDL chat. He's offering it in the stream chat. Here it is. Really? That's dude, that's nothing like what you typed. What is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and get this entered real quick. Um 
it's it looks like it yeah it's the the four times tourney just from oh nice the one of those. yeah that's so that's that's pretty exciting Oh, he's saying that he removed it uh, to make room for uh, Elder oh, nice. Evo uploads. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that's that's understandable, man. I mean, it's I I actually take the blame for that one for taking four months to get around to doing this. But yeah, it is. It is going to be a thing. I'm going to bring back in full force. There's uh, there's. Ooh, too, here we go. Here's the teams. Too many good battles in a group happening to, yeah. to not. And with it, we've gotten such good. Sub I don't know if you've seen the Patreon lately, but man, we've gotten. We've really stepped it up uh, quite a bit. So I definitely want to make sure people know that their money's going somewhere. Let's see. Um. All right, so Salamence, Hoopa, another Hoopa, um, Rapierier, Bisharp, Buzzwall, and Rotom Heeds versus Pelipper, Scrafty, Hydra, Magnazone, Whimsicott, and Seismitoad. So no Mega from Ryan. Um, first off, um, way to throw the huevos out there. Um, I mean, did we allow Mega Mints? Uh, no. So, so no mega, so no from mega for Anthony either. either. Yeah, yeah. So so both trainers saying, you know what? I don't need a <laughs> mega. I can win this game without a mega. Um, well, I mean, Ryan does have Pelipers, so which to be to be fair, I think mega. the only mega that really was viable was Mega Tyranitar. This format. That's true. I don't. Uh, Scizor would have been good. Um, yeah, Mega Scizor too. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. All right, cool. Well, basically, it comes down to, um, like, Magnazone has to carry for Ryan. So I would probably carry it in the back. I probably wouldn't show it right away. Yeah, Salamatupa leads. And Pelipper lead? Yeah, Pelipper Scrafty. So that's a really good lead um, for Ryan. Uh, probably Trick Room Hoopa, I'm guessing. Because I didn't the, see any other like major speed control other than Tailwind Salamence, maybe. I would just I would be surprised to see that with the mints out there. Yeah. So Hoopa comes back. It goes Buswell. Oh damn, that's risky. Uh, yeah, with the Pelipper. The Pelipper. <laughs> they got the mints Hurricane. Uh, Ice Beam. Okay, so dead Salamence. Yeah, easily. Oh, oh Folky Mints. And it is lefties. So. Folky left. Oh, uh, that's 202 HP. That's max HP Salamence. So that's why it lives. Substitute Buzzwool. Very nice. See the Dragon Dance from Scrafty. So Man. plus one speed, but neutral attack. That's a lot of ballsy plays, turn yeah. three. <laughs> Hurricane, um, of course. Breaking the sub. Uh, I'm not sure who's in a good position here. Um, because the bump. I don't. I don't. I don't know what set that Salamence is. It's max HP, so it looks like it's a little bit more of a bulky support of Salamence. Um, it's yeah. It's tough to tell what. Uh, oh, rode him in the rain. Hmm. I mean, Pelipper just has advantage for days here. Yeah, Pelipper's in a really good spot. See, Toxic from Salamence. Uh, if that's shit, no, it's it's not shit. It's getting to intimidate. Um, see, Hurricane. So it's a good switch there. Uh, Anthony making him some really good plays early on. Yeah, um, I guess I guess he was just buying time. Um, yeah, trying to get rid of the rain, maybe. All right, so he's going to withdraw Pelipper because Rain, if unless he's Damp Rock, it runs out this next turn. Uh, brings in Hydra. Oh, this is Z move Scrafty. Oh, Fight yeah. TMZ. This is killing yeah. the Rotom. It should. Depends. If it's Z Drain Punch, it might not. But if it's 
Z any other fighting move it kills. Oh, it takes it. No, oh, it was just it. It, it went it looked, slow. It looked slow. <laughs> yeah, and he was uh he was almost max HP Rotom, so maybe he was bulky too. Mud slap. Oh my gosh, that's gonna lower accuracy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this this Salamence is just like <laughs> it's so money. All right, but he can't mud slap the Hydra because of Levitate. So okay, he has Spring Buzzwool. We know it's not faster because it's subbed. Uh, shows so the we, protect. So he tries to bait the Hydreigon on here. Um, uh, Thunder Punch into the Buzzwool. Uh, anything oh. from yeah, even Fire Blast is killing. In the rain. Yeah, yeah that paper thin special defense is on Buzzwool. Uh, so actually, really good play there from Ryan because uh, Salamence protecting and not yeah. having any target. Yeah, yeah the, the double target was nice. He's shown three of the moves. He's shown Toxic, Protect, and uh, Mud, Mud slap. slap. So he probably wasn't afraid of any attack. Oh, Roost. And Roost, yeah, yeah. So he pro yeah, exactly. He's seen all of them. Uh, out goes Scrafty. So here comes the Rain again. Um... I don't know if I would have swapped out the Scrafty because it was like nothing was taking it down. No. Uh, and and you would have had knockoff for the Hoopa. I mean, it was plus one. Uh, I mean, I know Toxic was... Yes, yeah, plus two up. speed and plus one attack. All right, so Fire Blast not doing anything. Maybe he's Scarf into Fire Blast? I don't know why he wouldn't just Dark Pulse the Hoopa there. He, he's got to be Scarfed. He's choiced in some way. I'm not sure why he would send in the he's, Pelipper. Yeah, he switches that. He's choice. Okay. So he's choice like Hydra. Um, Wim's got coming in. Salmon's getting out. Oh, dude, rock slide. That's not killing a red period. Oh, Bisharp. Okay, good. Nice switch. Yeah, it just eats it. Uh, that's that's assault vest Bisharp or just no. That's I think that's AV Bisharp. Anthony, if you're in chat, I'm pretty sure it is. There's so much bulk all around. Yeah, he's he's got a real bulky team. Uh, he doesn't have HP in Bisharp, so that, I mean it has to be AV because it took nothing from the Ice Beam. Um, brings Hydra back in. Rapier switches out. That's good. Probably Grass move going in that slot. Oh, Tailwind. Okay. Okay. That kind of makes me think that the Hydreigon isn't Scarf though. Uh, it must be Specs then. Okay, Iron Head in the wind. Ooh, that's unfortunate. All right, so the Pelipper is not. No, Pelipper's. Oh, Helping Hand and Specs. Ooh, boy. Flash Cannon. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. might kill. Not quite. Mm, that's some bulk. It's about Brick Break. 75, 80% there. Man, just half. Oh my gosh. The bulk so. on these teams is pretty fun. So right, flash he... cannon, that is killing the red period. Man, I'm just surprised not to see the target on the on the Bisharp. Yeah, the Bisharp's a threat. Um Giga Drain. Alright, he says he was expert built. I believe you use two items in expert built and assault vest, but um, battery you ran special bulk. Uh, Iron Head's a Hydra that knocks it out. Hmm, okay. So there's a good chance that Bisharp's faster than the Pelipper. Uh, it should be. How much HP does the Pelipper have? Okay, still about it's a three fourths. Uh, Sucker Punch. Oh man, did, that's, did that's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay. Um, bulky Hoopa. Ice beams. The oh, I think you have to. I think you well. If you wanted to freeze on Hoopa, that would be nice. KOs. Yeah. Yeah, he, he'd probably go for the freeze there, which he probably needed. Um, did he just tailwind with tailwind already up? I think he did. Yeah. 
Uh, so this is most likely a Swift Swim Seismitoad. Helping, Helping hand, hand, but it, then minus one, so it's... Knockoff? Earth power. Oh, oh nice switch there, Anthony. Nice. Uh, Shadow Ball. Okay. Kills the Wimscott, good. All right, Magnezone. Yeah, Magnezone's a threat. Um, he does have the, uh, not Mud Slap, but uh, is it Mud Slap? I think it's Mud Slap. Oh, my God. The damage. Yeah, that, even at minus one, that still did half. But, oh. oh. That's choice specs. Dude, I can't believe everything is living. <laughs> Just Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That was perfect. Wait, just, what, uh, what was the so move he mud slapped? He dropped accuracy, oh, so he okay. dodged Thunderbolt. That's insane. <laughs> that was awesome. That's insane. Okay, protects get the leftovers recovery, stall out rain turns, scald. It's a mixed mix set. Okay, Ooh, scald does not kill. Shadow Ball is gonna kill the toad. Easy. Did he did he target down Hoopa? Yes, yeah, good target. Okay. How many does Ante have left here? So good play there by Ryan. He uh, he did not target down the Salamence, which he it's it was at that it wasn't much of a threat at that point. Um, I mean, besides going minus two accuracy. Yeah. All right, Scrafty. Oh, so okay. Scrafty's in a really good spot. Actually, Scrafty is. Um, we didn't. I didn't see an intimidate there. Is it Sheds? No, it already had Moxie. Oh, it had Moxie, okay. Yeah, he uh, he showed that earlier. Oh my god. Did you see that? I saw it. Mud, mud slap, um, mm -hmm. decrease the accuracy. <laughs> Dude, and oh my god, the Salmons. The Salmons should be retired and go in the Hall of Fame <laughs> after this. Like, oh my god. Brick break kills. Dude, wow. what a game. Crit didn't matter, <laughs> but... Um, Oh my god, what a game. <laughs> hmm. Like that was the that was the clutchiest mud slap. Both of them. <laughs> uh, once again, that's the uh that's the first time I've ever heard that in a sentence. That's the most yeah. clutch mud slap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so does he have any other Pokemon? Does he win this game with Salmon? That's, that's it for Holy Ryan. Shit. Oh, it's he's gonna win this one. game with Salmon. He has to. Wow. At this point, like the Salamence can only do one thing, and that's win the game by clicking Mud Slap. Is he minus one or minus two at this point? He's minus one accuracy, so minus two here. So Thunderbolt is a has a sixty percent chance to hit. Oh he my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell! Okay, Mud Slap. If he, might, if might he, actually KO. Yep. Okay. If it didn't KO, he had a 33% chance to hit it. That's so nasty. Dude, Mud Slap, Salamence, everybody. Uh... <laughs> that, well, was, that was a fun that was awesome. I'm glad we waited on that. Oh, uh, well, that's it. That's all we have. I didn't see the first one, um, and I'm not giving it to myself. Uh, I would, I don't know, who you want to give it to? Well, I can go ahead and say that the, that last match, Anthony versus Ryan was definitely, <laughs> was definitely the most fun to, ma to watch, but, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there that I'm going to award every single person who submitted, uh, their own reward for Battle of the Week for Oh, submitting. nice. All right. So if, um, if you submitted uh, PM the TLTPG um, account page, um, go ahead and claim your $5 reward for uh, for submitting uh, because it is – I'll take sole responsibility for not making sure that Battle of the Week got done, and, man, we're, uh, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. So thank you guys for trying to keep it going. 
and uh, congrats on your fucking five dollars. Nice for fucking yeah, playing. Congrats, dudes. Playing uh, Pokemon. I definitely had some fun too. So do this yeah, again. Yeah. yeah, man. And I'll uh, I'll hit you up next time around. Um, man, it it was fun. It was fun to do this again. It's uh, it, it's hard to sit down and make time for it, especially you know when the battles could get you know upwards of six, seven battle videos which has happened more than once um but man it's it's fun to watch it's fun to see people play i don't i don't do it enough i don't sit down and watch people play enough so it's a, it's a good excuse to sit down and do it yeah for sure but well thanks for joining in man uh thanks to everyone for submitting your battles uh battle videos and i'm going to be throwing around this link uh a lot more often in this coming week and uh from now on to make sure that everyone uh, remembers to send it in i mean i i don't know who wouldn't want to get play, paid to play pokemon that's true that's true you <laughs> technically are a professional pokemon yeah. player if you win one battle of the week for sure i mean if you make money playing the game i mean how many people can say that yep so thank you for supporting the group at Patreon and making that possible. Feel free to continue doing so in whatever amount that you would like to uh, to do that at. Yep. And then final word for me, turn your memes into dreams. Submit those <laughs> Battle of the Weeks. Mudflap Salamence. That was awesome. <laughs> no shit, man. All right. Thank you, guys.